Hey, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Give me a moment. I'm still setting up. Are y'all ready? Chat? Bitches? You are? Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Are you all sure about that, though? Because me thinks you might not be ready. Me thinks maybe you might not be ready. For this. Bro, you, Dragon, you know it doesn't work on this screen, yet you redeem it anyway. SM aged my head. You are ready? I'm glad. But is everyone else ready? Hi, maple syrup. How you doing? I would like some maple syrup. Can you give me some? Please? I would like maple syrup. Give me. I'm Canadian. I deserve it. This is the one thing you keep constantly forgetting. <sighs> skill issue. Fucking skill issue. If you ask me, that's, that's a certified skill issue. Now, chat, check this out. I'm about to blow your fucking minds. Are you ready? I'm blowing your... I'm gonna blow your tiny minds. What game is this? Uh, it's on the... It's right there. It's It says it, it says it right there. But it's it's like a deck building game thing. I actually don't know much about it myself. So we're gonna find out together as I eat french fries. Alright. Time to blow your minds. You guys ready? Yeah, I'm happy now. <laughs> And then I can slow it down. New feature. Did I blow your minds? Did I? No. Do it again. You weren't looking. <laughs> you did blow your mind. Good. I'm glad. French fries? Yes, I'm eating French fries. They're store-bought french fries, but they're still french fries. And they're delicious. Yes, just go zoomies now. Alright. I'm hungry. I'm hungry for blood. So, let's play the video game and hopefully we'll get some blood. <laughs> that sound good to everybody? Yes? All right. Let's go. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Enjoy your say Thank you, Vicori. I will enjoy it. You have a great time as well. Settings, patch notes. Uh, settings. Let's make sure the graphics are okay. Give me a high. 
Because I'm a high boy. Borderless full screen, max frame rate 144. That's my monitor refresh rate, so that makes sense. None of it really appropriate for this place. Fair enough. Fair enough. Right, let's let's stop that. I'm a high boy. I'm like literally high as fuck right now. Okay, no, I'm not. But we can pretend like I am. Now th there was a problem because. There was like a cutscene that played when this game started, and I accidentally skipped it. So. Oh, that was a joke, Bakori! That was a joke! That was a joke. Like, it'd be easy to run at 2 FPS. Okay, so I'm assuming these are the characters. Oh, yes. Level up Solarius to level 2 to unlock him. Play a run with Mooney to unlock Solarius. Level up Austria to level two. Who's Austria? Okay. So I unlock them like this. And then this one's just question, 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 question. Incredible. Uh, I clearly know what, what that's going on there. So I guess we only have one character right now. And it's this thing. Look at them. That's pretty cool, isn't it? We got Mooney. <laughs> Great name. Profession, academic. Australian, nocturne, nocturne grimoire. Planet, Noctura. Coming from a lineage of scholars, Mooney has always searched for the lost knowledge of the star system. Her Australian has been passed down through generations as the family reddick. With her wisdom, she is capable of improving dice and turning adversity into an advantage. Okay. Play with Mooney, I guess. Oh my, Estrella! What am I supposed to do? I've always wanted to be a baker. <laughs> yeah, poll to confirm. Okay, no, I got, I, no, I got an even better poll for you, nerd. There. There, that's the greatest poll I've ever seen in a stream in the history of polls, if you ask me. What am I supposed to do? What's happening? My dear friend got corrupted. There is nothing I can do. To say I can't save her. Wait, who are you? What are you doing here? No one comes to this doomed planet. I'm Mooney. I was called to Aquarius by this grimoire. So it sort of gives you Pyre vibes? It kinda has that vibe, yeah. Grimoire? Wait, this is one of the six-sided oracles, Astrariums. Get it? Why it's called six-sided oracle? Because we use dice. That, that six. That's why it's called six-sided. Do you get it, chat? Do you get it, chat? If you have this grimoire, it means that you are one of the new oracles. Thank you. I'm glad at least somebody gets my genius. <laughs> and you can save her. Here she comes. What? Oracle? Rawr! Oh, that's the scary boy. Head empty. Yeah, my head's empty, so all the fucking time. Oh, my dear friend. How could I let this happen to you? We gotta purify her fast before she gets stronger. You'll need to learn a few things to purify her. But first, let's draw dice. Battle start. Draw face. This is your dice hand. You need to use those dice to purify your enemies back to normal. Enemies also roll dice, but they roll the same dice each turn. After you play all your actions, enemies will activate the action that they rolled. These are the main actions of our world. Purify and corrupt. Purify decreases corruption. That means it will damage enemies and heal you. Corrupt is the opposite. It increases corruption, meaning that it heals enemies and damages you. Note that corrupt actions have a red outline. Actions with a red outline are considered mandatory actions and need to be used before you end your turn. Therefore, you must use all corrupt actions before you end your turn. This is the enemy corruption meter. 
It starts fully filled with corruption, and you need to purify it to win the battle. You also have a corruption meter. It starts fully filled with purification. But if your corruption meter gets fully filled with corruption, you will lose one heart. If you lose all your hearts, you will become corrupted and lose the game. Let's try to purify her. Okay, so I have to use corrupt stuff before turn ends. But, I, okay, interesting. So in which case I should use them first, right? When they're at full health. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, end turn. Right click on this dice to view all of its faces. Got it. So the, all of its faces are deal three purification. <laughs> Got it. Oh, some of them are two. Okay. So this is basically what I could draw each turn. Okay. You're going to right click on a dice to view any of its faces. Okay, that's AoE then. And this is just AoE Corrupt. What is this? Deal two purification to yourself. Oh, so this basically heals me. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming I'll be able to either draft new dice. Let's see, at the start of draw phase, four dice are drawn from here. Hand limit is eight. Dice draw while your hand is full will be discarded. Click to view dice in your draw pool. And then I have a discard pool. Okay, okay. So, let me get this straight. I'm base basically, dice are like my cards from Slay the Spire. Except they could, instead of being a singular card, it could be one of six different things whenever I draw it. What? <laughs> what? Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. That might be a bit much. Also, the poll has been decided, and people have decided on her. Let's heal myself. And then kill him. Oh no, too late. She's resisting your purification. She's getting stronger. All enemies have an over-corruption meter. A what? It's just adding more mechanics. <laughs> AoE hits you too? Oh, interesting. When they receive corruption, they get healed. But their over-corruption also increases. Once an enemy's over-corruption meter gets fully filled, they will get over-corrupted and activate the action attached to it immediately. I think you'll need to use all your Astrari Astrarium power to purify her. Hi, Satoya. I was one of the six-sided oracles. You have the power to use corruption in your favor. Don't worry about it, Satoya. Attached to your corruption meter are actions called virtues. As your corruption increases and passes a virtue, that virtue is enabled to be played. When enabled, virtues can be played just like dice. These virtues can be enabled multiple times per turn. Now, Please, purify my dear friend, Oracle. You are our only hope. Okay. She's gonna do two corrupt damage to me. I'm already confused. <laughs> Can I like look up like terminology at any point? So this is what's in my draw pool right now. Okay, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll understand. It'll take me a moment, but I will eventually get the hang of it. So what do I got here? Reroll up the two dice from any target. Deal four purification to an enemy. Draw one die. Is there like a limited number of... Oh, I can't end my turn until I play these. Okay. Kind of. 
Feel three corruption to yourself? Mm, that sucks. Rolling that dice would be stupid. Your virtues suck. No. Oh shit, I'm almost dead. <laughs> this virtue is different. At the start of your turn, it will be automatically enabled and can be played only once per turn. Convert one die from your hand until the enemy's turn. Okay. I see. I'm getting it. Let's heal myself. Oh, I should have used this first. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm, I'm slowly understanding. It's going to be like a balance between life and death. Oh, yeah, this does attack. So let's do this first. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Ah, oh, shit. Drawing one ended up being a bad idea. <laughs> but I think I can maybe kill here still. I can either heal him or do damage to myself. Interesting. I guess I'll heal him. Oh, he can attack himself to over corrupt himself. That's interesting. Um, this, I, if I want to kill, I need this to reroll <laughs> into a two. Hey, never, never fucking punished. Get fucking purified. Oh, my Estera, I was so scared, but you did it. She's back. Oh, dear. I got corrupted again, <laughs> again. I love how she's so casual about it. I got corrupted again. Oh. But it didn't need your help. I am sure I would be able to purify myself at any time. You were doomed. You were about to become one of those things forever. You're exaggerating, Scythe. How many times have I got corrupted? I've lost count. But here I am, alive and uncorrupted. Wow, you mean I just wasted my time? Hey, Bright Ears, how you doing today? just gets corrupted for a vacation pretty much don't mind her she's just an old grumpy may i say you won't believe it she has the grimoire that belonged to the nocturne oracle one of the six-sided oracles i accord corrupted in my video game say again how could that be my brother used to be one of them that's why i'm here i don't know this grimoire has been protected by my family for many generations I feel it's calling me to Asteria's heart, the source of all corruption. Astria's heart. Is it Astria, Asteria, Astria? I'm going to say Astria. The source of all corruption. So you know what to do. You need to go to where the Crimson Dawn happened. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Missa, the anti Antiquarian. And this little talking sentinel here is Scythe, the Bellkeeper. We will help you along your journey. If you bring us star shards, we can use them to improve your resources. May Astria bless you. Thanks, Mooney. Good luck on your journey. Oh, here's the Slay the Spire map, guys. Okay, so I'm assuming these are tougher battle and this is a boss. 
Okay. So I get star shards here, unknown random event, choose up to two balanced dice. Uh, spend star shards with sentinels, acquire new sentinels, upgrade the ones you have. Or forge shop spend stars to improve your dice pool. Here you can forge, destroy, or duplicate dice. I know they do, don't they, Sora? Don't worry, it gets better from what I've seen from the trailer. Destroy one die from your dice pool. What is this? Shrine. Here you can pray for it. Recover one heart. Sacrifice a heart for a boon. Or gain star shards. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's get to it then. Normal battle. We've got... Weird fucking slug thing. And... Crystallized swirl. Deal four corruption to themselves. So that's going to trigger this. Deals two corruption to you. So we've got two corruption. What is this? Oh, these dice are definitely different now. One sec. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. This is, this is going to get fucking complicated. And it's going to get complicated fucking fast. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> Reroll one die for any target. Oh, we can also block that. Okay. Oh, no. I'm, this, is, this is a hurdy brain moment. I'm going to have to think, chat. I'm going to take a lot of corruption. I have seven. And I have five corruption coming my way right now. Think, no think, just do. Fuck, I was really hoping to get some block there. Man, I'm just gonna eat this corruption damage, aren't I? Well, that's kind of shitty. Alright, I'll kill the snail first. It has the lower health. Damn, that fucking hurts. Aw, oh, fuck. Okay, let's get a deal two. So I'm gonna take four damage here. Okay. Purified. Okay. No, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Damn it. Never mind. I'm not getting it. I might have just killed myself. Wait, no. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, I should have done that the other way around. I fucked that up. Oh, well. It's fine. It's fine. I might have I fucked up a little bit. It's fine. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning, okay? It's a learning experience. Uh No, that can't really get any worse. Cancel. This could get better though. I'll reroll that so that I can Give me two blues. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now I can do. It's kind of interesting. I'm not really attacking them. I'm I'm like hearing them. <laughs> it's interesting. Okay. Okay. This looks fine.
got three health left, and I've got three damage here. Oh, no, I don't have three damage here. Uh... Fuck. <laughs> I don't have three damage here. Oh, this could become damage, though. Okay, I can, I can heal myself. Pretty much that's the extent of what I can do. Damn it, I can't kill. But I'm not gonna take much damage here. In fact, I'm gonna take no damage here. Excellent. This is a complicated fucking game, chat. <laughs> There we go. But I'm learning. We learned through the power of, I won my first battle. And I could choose a dice. Oh, this looks pretty good. This looks good too. This dice is like, it's mostly death. Hey Kaden, how you doing tonight? It's mostly death, but if I roll one of these, I do fucking shit tons of damage. That's pretty funny. Hmm. It's funny that that's an option. Hmm. Oh, one sec. I want to pick something. Yeah, something's off there. Give me a second. Nope, not, uh, not that. High risk, high reward. Yeah. The risk dice is a meme, chat. Calm down. There we go. I want this to be like here. But maybe a little bit more forward. There we go. That looks a lot better. <laughs> Memes are life. You know, you've got a point, but at the same time, shut up. <laughs> at the same time, shut up. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
fast. Like, like hella fast. The odds are in my favor to reroll that guy. Okay, that didn't really work up. Do you have a health bar? It's right here. Also, hi, Iredor. How, how are you doing today? Are you doing good today? Fuck, I gotta change that off of F12. Okay, so let's see. I can apply a light shield to myself. And I will do that. Okay. You're wrong, but wanted up. I wish you luck with the stream. Okay, thank you. Have a good day, Lycan. Take care. Increases die corruption value by one. Yeah, okay. He's going to get progressively more dangerous as time goes on. And enhance one die from any target until the end of the enemy's turn. This is rough, actually. Oh, four is like the highest he can get. I'm re-rolling the shit out of that. I'm very unlike, okay, let's uh, re-roll that shit. I just char like zero, zero, two there. Now I'm only taking two damage. That's good. And it looks like there's no mana. I could just always play my hand. But turn order and stuff makes sense, makes it hard. Oh, I got the big boy damage. <laughs> I ended up getting the big boy damage. Can I kill this turn? Hmm. I think I can. Yes, I can. Okay. Collect all. Okay, what do we got here? Neutral. Uh, deal one purification to any target. Draw a dice. Uh, what's this? Uh, deal one purification to any target. Unforgettable. Can't be forged. Hmm. Twilight Sigil. What is this? Change a die from your hand into area corrupt five action for the rest of the turn. Wait, why the fuck would I ever want that? Oh, because I could convert it. Oh. I was going to say, like, why would I ever want this? And it's because I could convert it to do purification. Still kind of weird. I think I might want to start getting this. And then we start going hardcore into converting. Speaking of hardcore into converting. Convert up to two dice to your hand for the rest of the run. Oh, that sounds amazing. Lose a heart? Oh, that's way too risky. <laughs> that is way too risky. <laughs> If I roll that, I, that's like losing a fucking life straight up right there. Let's get some more convert into my hand. Okay, what do we got here? I can choose up to two balanced dice or a random event or ambush. I'm going to go here to the random event. You come across what appears to be the ruins of an amphitheater. From the look of the scenery and costumes, you might assume that the play was about the six oracles, but there are only the masks of three of them. You decide to put one on. Uh, Benian mask. At the start of each battle, gain 25 stands of time. No kid gloves for this dice. How much did this game cost? It's like $30 Canadian or something like that. They're probably $29.99 USD. 
At the start of each battle, gain 25 sands of time. Whenever you play a non-hex die, you have an X percent chance to not discarding the die and rolling it, then decrease sands of time by 5. What the fuck? I don't understand. What? What's a hex die? Oh! I have a chance to just not... Oh, I have a chance for the dice to come back into my hand. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. At the start of each battle, gain 15 critical. You have a 50% chance of dealing a critical. Okay, so basically I have 50% chance to crit. Or, uh, Rune, this is more of a Slay the Spire clone. So far. This is way more of a Slay the Spire clone. And let's see. Game Rune Virtue in the rightmost empty slot of your corruption meter. Enable a sentinel die and immediately roll its die. I'm gonna go with the critical. It seems like the safest bet. You put the mask. All the knowledge and experience of that culture invade you at once. There are so many feelings, so many stories, so much wisdom. You start to understand a little more about legacy they carried and a nostalgia for something you never lived. Interesting. I'm gonna go here. Hi there! How can I help you? These are sentinels. They are helpers which have their own dice and own corruption meter. They are independent of you and therefore their dice are not considered part of your hand. Also, effects that only affect that, that affect only you won't affect sentinels. You can have up to two sentinels. If their corruption meter gets fully filled with corruption, they break and will be repaired only at the end of the battle. You can go on show dice to see their dice. Discard dice and deal damage. Or AoE. I like the AoE idea. Oh, that's upgrading. That's if I upgrade them. Okay. So this one's all about discarding, or is this one's about AoE? I like the idea of AoE. We'll buy the AoE, dude. We have a friend now. And I can upgrade him. Oh, we meet again. We will. Maybe. Okay, a tougher challenge or a normal challenge. We're going to go to the tougher challenge because I'm a man. Oh, fuck. I might have made a mistake. Okay, what do we got here? Decreases purification received by one. When purification is received from others, purification source receives one corruption. So it's basically, yeah, Thorn. Okay. The tougher one? Yeah, of course. Great. Apply three doom to this enemy in three turns. Okay. Let's put the Twilight Sigil on his ass. <laughs> that is true, Kaden. I'm sorry. Lem I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You are so right. You are so fucking right. Yeah, that's the best possible roll that I could get there. Damn, dude. Okay. Okay, that's good. What's up, Wither? How you doing? Okay, I think I got this. I actually kind of want to roll something bad here so that I can convert. Three. That's the most dangerous thing that he's got. Okay, so let's re-roll that. And I can't... I don't have anything in my hand to convert right now. So maybe we'll get lucky. Let's try this. Deal three corruption to a random target. Well, that's the opposite of luck of lucky. Okay, let's do this. We'll 
We'll do that. So we'll take damage, right? But we don't just take damage. We also... We also can heal. Okay, good. I, I lowered the amount of damage I take. We'll do that, and we're back at full health. Everyone's back at full health. Oh my gosh, I'm learning. Minus one Grim Awakening. Oh yeah, after three turns, he goes fucking ham. Okay. Okay. We're learning. Man, that the fact that that does damage to me sucks. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm I'm in danger. <laughs> I'll I'll die here if I don't heal. But thankfully there are ways to heal. I know, but I don't have anything to spend those virtues on. Okay, fuck. Okay, now he's dangerous. I mean, he was dangerous already, but now he's especially dangerous. But I just drew my 11 dice. You're fucked, bro. You're fucked. <laughs> Let me heal myself a bit first. It's all ogre, yeah. Is there a way for me to not eat shit here from his thorns? I don't think it matters. There. I turned him back into small crab. Let's see. Corruption purified. Gain a star blessing. A passive effect with lower power. Oh, I can collect all. Okay. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, deal one purification to any target. Deal two additional purification for each die enhanced during this battle. Okay, Mooney seems to also have enhanced uh, synergies. So it looks like Mooney could do a, a like a either enhance deck or like a or a convert deck. This doesn't seem good. I gained Doom. Why would I want to increase my corruption? Nah, I'm not a fan of this. I don't think my, my current deck does not support that. Uh, honestly, none of these feel good for my current deck. Let's skip. Scarlet Sigil to any target. Creatures of Scarlet Sigil with X purification whenever you play a risky die. Oh, interesting. So there's risky synergy here too, huh? <laughs> okay. I think Manipulate++ plus plus is the best one here. Change the die in your hand and purify one action for the rest of the turn. I'm going to take this. Choose a Star Blessing. What do we got here? At the start of each battle, apply three Safeguard to all enemies. So it stops them from gaining corruption. Okay. If you have 30 dice in your dice pool, increase purification received by enemies by one. And for each five additional dice, increase purification received by enemies by one. So if I'm going a thick fucking deck, this would be good. I don't think I am though. You can shuffle each reward choices once. Um, sure. Rerolling rewards sounds very good to be getting early. I'm going to be honest. Destroy one dice from your dice pool. That's usually good in these games. Let's see my, desk, my dice pool for a second. Okay. This UI could do to be a little cleaner. If I'm going convert, then I'm going to want uh, more ways to convert and more risky dice. If I'm doing a convert build. What about the chest? Streamline the deck. We must streamline the deck. 
So if I wanted to remove something from my deck, I don't think I'd want to remove this because this is en this enhanced is actually pretty good. But I'm not really running an enhanced deck. Maybe I could get rid of this. Two left are boring. I agree. I don't think there's anything wrong with getting rid of those. But there's also the tr there's also uh, gain star shards, which is nice. I'm gonna go this way. Actually, I'm not gonna remove something from my deck because I'm gonna go here to improve my dice pool. Okay, so what do we got here? Forge. Apply incorruptible to any target. Uh Oh, can I like I think I get it. I think I, I I understand. I think I know what this is asking me to do. Apply incorruptible to any target. Blocks all corruption until the start of your next turn. Okay, then I can put this on one of my dice. Like that. Interesting. Okay, this game is fucking wild. <laughs> I can sacrifice a heart to gain a star blessing. You know what? I'm feeling confident. Fuck my hearts. These passives are more important. <laughs> what do we got here? Every 12 risky die you play, apply incorruptible to all enemies. This counter is kept between battles. If three dice are converted in a single turn, refresh your virtues. I'm going a convert deck. That sounds pretty fucking good. Stardust Garb. Every three times you deal purification, apply one light shield to a random target. I'm going to take this because it, it, it synergizes with what I'm going for. All right, boss fight time. Oh, shit. Look at that thing. All right, here we go. Let's apply the Twilight Sigil to that ass. I can apply Twilight Sigil to myself as well to heal. That's interesting. I don't think that the uh, order that I use this in matters. Wait, what is he doing? Apply one minimize. Oh, fuck, he's weakening me. Oh, fuck, he's weakening my ass. All right, I see how it is. A block damage. Every time, activate this enemy die every six times you deal purification to it. Oh, so just apply one doom every time I deal <laughs> to that ass. Oh shit, I forgot to play this, fuck. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm, I'm just, I'm learning, I'm learning, okay? It's a learning experience, chat. He's gonna corrupt to all targets. So he's gonna heal himself, too. That's lame. Other than dealing four corrupt, that's, uh... So he's gonna deal. He, his, he gets stronger every time I hit him six times. Honestly, none, if that's the case, I'm really gonna want to make sure my hits matter then. Otherwise, he's just gonna ramp the fuck up. Hmm, like, is doing one damage to it actually gonna help me, or is it just gonna cause him to ramp up? That's the question, ain't it? This dice kind of sucks. Yeah, both these dice kind of suck. And they're starter dice. I don't like these. It's only one damage. And none of their options are particularly good. If I'm getting rid of any dice, it's definitely these ones. They suck. I'll do the two damage, and then I'll just end.
Okay. Convert! Okay. <laughs> Hi, Arugabus. How are you doing today? He's still going to apply Minimize to me, but now he's going to heal me by two, which is nice. Let's heal my friend. Mm. I definitely don't want to reroll that. I don't think I want to do chip damage to him, so I'm just going to end. What the fuck? What the fuck, chat? Why the fuck did my computer just fucking blue screen of death? Is this this game? Like, what the fuck was that about? That's some horse shit. Some fucking garbage. I'm fucking... I'm angry. What the fuck? Unbelievable. That gets split up into two VODs. I have no idea. I hate life, the universe, and everything. It makes no sense. My computer had an issue earlier today with... I was playing Alan Wake, and it had a problem, and I had to force restart it. Maybe it's related to that? I don't know. But it wasn't an issue. It was an issue with Alan Wake specifically. Man, what the fuck? On the plus side, I don't think it split my VODs. I think... Uh, Twitch protection did its job and stopped me from going offline. Well, that's good, at least. Maybe. Did it? Not my computer really having problems. I, I hope so, too. I hope so, too. Well, I don't know if Twitch killed the VOD yet. I guess we'll find out. area at the sixth planet that or now we can watch this chat you see it crashed so that we could watch this this is the mystic star known as Astera and the six planets that orbit her in a distant past Astera gifted one child in each of the six worlds with an astrarium a relic that holds the secrets of the stars these children became known as the Six-Sided Oracles. Ruled by the tenets of the Mother Star, they guided their people and built thriving civilizations that mastered the art of astronomy. Astro Astromancy. Thus began the Starlit Age, an era bathed in light and blessed with Astraea's celestial gifts. Lore, chat. Lore that we missed. Context to the storyline. Thus, then, unexpectedly, Astrea went silent and started to fade. Worried by her absence, the oracles decided to investigate. An anom anomaly was notable in Star Mother's heart. Afraid of what could happen, they devised the creation of a towering monument in the capital of the sixth world, Aquarius. One that would remove the anomaly. Now probed, but they found that below the light there was fire, and below the fire there was darkness. Astrea's heart fell into Aquarius, and a fiery cataclysm was unleashed, engulfing the entire star system and corrupting the souls of the weak will. That day became known as the Crimson Dawn.
Still, Astraea gifts remain scattered across the world, and with them, it's possible to purify her dark influence. But the ones who could manipulate them are not present anymore. After a long silence, echoes of the ancient cataclysm are once again surfacing and threatening to swallow the persisting worlds. With the spread of corruption, the once lost Astrariums have awakened and have started calling the descendants of the six-sided oracles. Guided by the mysterious call, they set out on a journey to Aquarius in a final effort to defend all they've ever known. There we go. Lore. Okay, continue, please. Alright, we start the battle over from the beginning, chat. Which sucks, because I was actually doing well. But, whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. First, Twilight Sigil. This is the dawning of the Age of Aquarius. Convert that shit, do some damage. Okay, every six time I do Purification, I thought it gained Doom. But in reality, it just activates this. Granted, I don't want it to do that. That's the most dangerous thing it has. But whatever. Oh, that only works on, on dice that have type value 1. Oh, so there's actually some synergy here. Where... where uh, with, with 1. Oh, wait, wait. I could do this then. I see. So they have this character has synergy with with one with level one dice, basically. Because you didn't lose your progress. I knew it auto save. Roguelikes these days always save. Because video games are good these days, you know? Deal five purification to all targets. Absolutely pog. Okay, so it's going to do one damage to everything. Okay. We're doing good damage. We're doing good damage. Okay, so in one purification, it's going to activate its dice to do two damage to everything. So in that case... Let's do this to heal. And then... Hmm, not a fan of these dice. I'm going to reroll this one. And I ended up getting nothing good. Two damage to everything, not a big deal. I'm gonna take two damage here, but I think that's fine. Oh, he's gonna activate Doom though. So he's gonna start ramping. No, my friend! Maybe I should have healed him. Maybe I should have healed my friend. Okay, what is this? Player deal three corruption to myself. But we've got to convert dice so I can do that. Which will deal three corrupt to heal for myself. Deal four damage to your ass. Okay, only two damage to everything. I think that's fine. Yeah, just end turn. I think I need to start putting more risky dice and more converts in my deck. And then maybe the thing that synergizes with risky dice. Okay. I'm gonna re-roll these two dice. There we go. Ow! 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 I shouldn't have re-rolled that dice! <laughs>
But wait, we might be okay still. Oh god. Um It's gonna activate twice. I'm gonna do this. So he's gonna attack. Five damage, but then we can just we'll just heal it. <laughs> we'll just heal it. It auto save? Yeah. Bro, I'm fucking bleeding, chat. <laughs> chat, I'm bleeding. But I think he's bleeding too. I think I just win, actually. Yeah, I do. Get fucked, nerd. Oh yeah, look at that shit. Let's collect all. Hey, garbage worm, thank you so much for the follow. Also, I'm sorry, Singe, when my, when my computer crashed, I forgot to reopen Sammy. So that sound effect didn't play. Oh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. It's Sammy core that I want to open. There we go. There you go. Just for you. Okay, what do I want here? We got Guardian. At the start of its turn, a random enemy receives two Purification. Blocks three Corruption to the start of your next turn. What, what do you do? Charged Pylon seems interesting. This one's all about defense, it looks like. Which I kind of like, because I don't actually have a lot of defense right now. Status clock seems kind of interesting, too. I think I'm gonna take the Guardian this time. Status gives defense every turn. No, I think that it just starts with that. Not that it gives that every turn. Like, it itself starts with this. So it's technically got five health instead of three. I'm gonna go with the Guardian. Hello there, Guardian. Okay, what do we got here? Ma uh, defensive Aura. Apply two Light Shield to all targets. Or Mind Direct. Deal six Purification to all targets. Add one Dizzy Hex die into your draw pool. A die with different types of corrupt actions. Well, having something that Aura I could go Eureka. Convert one die from your hand for the rest of the run. This... Eureka seems strong, since it converts it to the rest of the run. But, I kind of am relying on having darkness in my deck for this deck to work. So it might be better to go with Mind Wreck to get, like, a high damage thing, and then get more stuff to convert into my hand. You know what I mean? Hmm. I don't know, though. Yeah, let's take the Mind Wreck. Black Hole Blessing. So what do we got here? Increase Purification received by enemies by one. Increases Corruption received by enemies by one. Let's see, draw one additional die per turn. At the start of each battle, apply two hidden to all enemies. You can't see what enemy with hidden rolled, but you can see their see their die. Rerolling this enemy's die will reveal all of its die faces. No, that's... I don't know this game well enough to, to choose that. This feels like it would be a good one once I know what enemies can do, but not right now. 
or draw two additional dice per turn. You can only use one virtue per turn. Refresh ignores this condition. Hmm. Uh, one of my virtues is super important, though, and that's the convert uh, one. But it's also the only one that matters, and I've got a way to refresh my virtues. I'm going to take this. So I'll get two extra dice, but I get a chance. I can't only use one virtue, but refresh will ignore that. Yeah, I'm going to go with that because I've got a way to refresh. Hopefully three converts to remove that issue. Okay, what do we got here? I can choose a dice. Two safe dice. Fuck safe dice. Safe dice are for nerds. I want risky dice. <laughs> I need more converts and more risky dice. That's what I need. Okay, I I'm vibing with this game. This game's got fucking depth. Holy shit. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Star shards, random event or ambush. Choose up to two dice. Let's go with this. You spot an old machine that looks like a giant aquarium face. As you approach the machine and starts, I only have a few active functions. I can uh, duplicate a sentinel, which I already am full on sentinel slots, so that does nothing. Or give me some resources. I'll take the star shards and then I'll choose some new dice. Deal pure purification to your enemy for each risky die you have in your dice pool. Amplify. Change one die from your hand with any type of purify action with value one into area purify six until the end of the enemy's turn. No, that's not a good. Research. It increases enhanced effectiveness. No. I think Bloody Moon Ray is easily the best thing for my deck right now because I've got ways to mitigate the risk of risky dice, so I'm going to be choosing a lot of risky dice. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this one's so funny. <laughs> okay, no, Owl Light Charge is great, too. Because this deals more damage based on how many times I've converted this battle. So, this is Synergy. Whereas this is... It, so, I'm going to take this one. All right. We're still going to be taking more risky die later on. So right now, this does four damage. Yeah. So I think I want to get rid of some cards now. Some dice. Particularly the ones... I think I want to get rid of the enhance, because I'm not running an enhance build. So there's no point in having this. So I'm going to get rid of the enhance, because it's, it's literally eating up space. All right, combat time. One death bomb. When defeated, all targets receive one corruption. Okay, scary. Hmm. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to eat shit a little bit. <laughs> but that's okay, because I've got ways to, you know, heal my, my, my bullshit. Okay, what do these do? Apply one death bomb to self. Apply one death bomb to a random enemy. Apply one death bomb to self. So their end of turn bullshit gets worse. First six first the longer this battle goes on. Hmm, not a good. So I want to try and kill pretty quickly then. Okay. We almost got one. Okay, this one's got Death Bomb 3, so I gotta be prepared to take 3 damage to my face.
I got Bloody Moon Ray. I love that name. That's so funny. Man, a lot of one rolls. That kind of sucks. Well, I can use the one rolls to heal myself, so that's not that bad. Ow. Oh, I should have done that first to stop them from gaining corruption. That would have been smart, but I'm not smart. So, unfortunately, I'm a dumb fuck, basically. Heal everybody. Okay. Oh, I could have definitely done four damage. I'm a fool. I am a fool, chat. Look, it's a learning experience, okay? Six purification to all targets, huh? I'm not getting my corrupts. My converts. Oh, there's a convert there, though. And I have a pretty good cha uh, chance of getting it. So... roll those. Okay, sweet. And then I can do this. Which will heal everybody. No, first, let's hurt myself, just so that I don't have to do that. And then we'll do that and heal everybody. And I don't need... Uh, and... Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning. This game's complicated, but I'm learning. This game is fucked up. <laughs> and not in a bad way. Deal four purification. Wait, this does five to everybody. That's fucking pog. You want this game now? This game is sick so far. Okay, let's uh this guy's gonna is gonna do three damage when I kill it, so let's start armoring up. Let's armor up and then kill it. Okay, my sentinels die, but it really doesn't matter. They come back at the end of battle. Hell yeah. Give me more risk. I need more converts, I think. Another Mandrak, Starlet Sigil. No, I need more convert if I want this deck to start popping off. As well as more risky cards. You're getting this also, bro? We haven't even gotten to any other characters yet. Calm down. <laughs> Starlet Sigil does synergize with my build. Because it it relies on risky dice. Hmm. You can shuffle? Oh true. Oh I, I New Moon. Safe a safe dice energy. Change all die from your hand to any type of purify action into airy purify one action until the end of enemy's turn. What is this? Change up to three dice from your hand into purify one action until the end of the enemy's turn. This is good to get rid of some of my bad rolls, maybe. But I'm not really feeling any of these to so skip. This is, I need more converts, really. Ah, shuffle. Here we go. Twilight Sigil's good, but I what I really want is more ways to convert dice. But I'll take this. More ways to convert, to deal damage with conversion is also good. What is this? Here you can pray for Asterius' help, but you can't recover a heart. Sacrifice a heart for a boon or gain star shards. 
I could sacrifice a heart. I'm gonna choose risky dice. Fuck it. Let's get some risky dice, chat. Draw two risky die. Change a die from your hand into corrupt 12 action for the rest of the run. No, I don't like any of these. Deal 50 damage. <laughs> Deal 50 damage if that rolls well. But I also have a chance to lose a heart. Which is, uh, scary. But you know what? Fuck it. That's also got convert on it. Alright, let's see, let's do this. Try to get some more convert d dice in my hand. To all enemies, chafe that. I want Twilight Sigil's good, but what I really want is more convert. Timeless isn't bad. There we go, that's what I was looking for. More convert dice. <laughs> Let's go for the harder battle, because I'm a fucking... I'm not a bitch. Oh, go look at this guy, Chad. He's packing. Right here. Alright, I think I want to kill his friends first. Does nothing. Does nothing. Apply one nefarious pulse. At the start of his turn, all targets receive X corruption. Hmm, that's scary. I'll cancel that. One sec. Um. I'm trying to figure out something here. What's the what's the optimal game plan here? So I, I rolled two bad dice, but I don't have any converts in my hand. But I do got this. So let's convert this. I think that's something that I'm going to want. We'll deal one corrupt to myself. We'll heal it right after. And also block. You have two reroll? No, I don't. This is grayed out. Oh, I, ha I do have a two reroll, yeah. But I don't have anything here that I particularly would want to reroll. Except for maybe this. No, I, I don't want to reroll that. I already killed one of his friends. This deck is coming together pretty good, actually, I think. I don't necessarily have to use this. There's nothing I want to reroll, so fuck that. And now his friends are dead. So now let's kill him. Okay, so this is already starting to pop off with my risky die pool, which is great. Oh, look at this chat. Oh shit, cancel that. I should have done this first. Oh well, that's a misplay. Total misplay, chat. I'm sorry, I fucked up. Enter. Bro, I'm fucking him up. <laughs> Bro, this deck is feeling really fucking good. <laughs> Yo. Okay, Twilight Sigil on his ass. Uh, and then uh, we'll convert. No, cancel. We'll convert this. He, does, he gets, takes five damage from the Twilight Sigil. And now this is dealing more damage, so let's deal one to myself, and then use this to heal it. 
and then we just fucking slam his ass. <laughs> he is starting to get dangerous though, with his nefarious pulse. But I'm all but I'm more dangerous, chat. Oh shit. Uh yeah, sometimes this happens with my deck though. Which is a problem. <laughs> so, sometimes I get fucked. Rerolls. I would rather convert because there's a chance that I can kill here. Because I can only use one of my blessings this turn. Hmm, one sec. I'll apply two light shield to myself. Do this for the AoE heal. All right, I had to do that, unfortunately. I'm sorry, Sentinel. I'm sorry, friend. Okay, he's doing five damage. So I, I gotta heal myself. Okay. I think I can kill here. If I don't, I'm kind of fucked. Well, I might be fucked. <laughs> well. Draw? Oh, yeah. Well, that was helpful. Not at all. If I had done that first, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna lose a heart here. Shit. Well, that sucks. We're learning, yes. Okay. It's Sag, but we're good. We got this. Man, if only I had drawn that 50 purification bomb earlier. <laughs> okay, whatever. We lost a heart, but it's fine. We'll get that heart back. D draw two dice, add three plague hex die to your discard. Choose a die from your discard to draw and roll. Hey, Soul. Soul. We played this game a fair bit. It's fun. This is my first time and I'm learning. So forgive me if I suck. I don't like any of these. Um. Protection's not bad. Twilight Sigil is good for convert. It's handy for convert. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. I want. I need to get rid of some dice from my deck. That might help a lot. It gets so much worse with some of the later characters. It's okay. I'm learning. I'll, I'm getting it. I'm slowly getting it. But this isn't a bad deck. But I don't think I. A lot of these will just clog my deck up. I'm not gonna take anything there. Okay, what do we got here? If you have 30 dice in your dice pool, increase purification. Uh, every eight safe die you play, refresh your virtues. No, I'm not playing very many safe die. 
While you have six corruption on your corruption meter, you deal two additional purification. Actually, I am still playing safe, some safe die. Actually, I have one safe die. Yeah, I have two safe die. I'm not playing very safe, so this isn't a great thing for me. This isn't that great for me either. This at least gives me a chance to... No, I can shuffle these. Wait, I can shuffle these. What the fuck am I doing? Let's see. Every 12 risky die you play, apply incorruptible to all enemies. This counter is kept between battles. I am playing risky die. At the first draw phase of each battle, when drawing your initial hand, risky die are drawn first. Or at the end of your draw phase, you can reroll all dice from your hand. It shows how many of each type you have. You like the... Where? Oh, right here. It shows how many types. Okay, these are starter, safe, balance, risky, uh, epic. Got it. I see. All It's all making sense. It's all coming together. Drawing risk is bad first hand. I agree. Uh, I can see there are probably some decks that could take advantage of this, but not mine. Not Not mine yet. I am playing Risky Die, so I'm going to take that. Okay, what are we going to do now? More Risky Die. I think I might want to start spending some Star Shards. I can either upgrade or forge. Or destroy. Forge I could destroy as well at. Hmm. Random event. I do want to destroy a dice for my dice pool. So I'm either going to do that through here or I'm going to do that through here. I might go this way just to upgrade a sentinel and then destroy a dice. But I could also go this way, buy some stuff and, and also destroy because I've got plenty of star shards. I've got a lot of fucking star shards right now. Like a lot. Um, It's char choice, actually. Damn, how dare this game make me think. That's so rude. That's so mean, dude, that they're making me think. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, if, oh wait, what is this? Sentinels you get on bosses. Oh shit, I got an epic die. Uh... Uh, deal 11 pyramids to any target. Add one wound hex die into your dry spool. This is pretty good. This one's kind of funny. Honestly. If I have like a ton of convert in my hand, this would be pretty fun. Are we winning yet? No. But I don't have a lot of defense in my deck, so I think I'm gonna I might take this. Just because I really don't have a lot of defense in my deck. And that might keep me alive. Especially if I draw bad with my risky dice. Let's upgrade. Oh, any are these What are the, what do these guys got? Reroll? Oh, reroll might actually be super useful for my deck. It can help me get away from bad rolls on my dice. To get past seven plus damage enemy attacks, yeah. I might want this, our Millie Spear. Just because rerolling can get me out of a bad situation for my risky dice. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna buy that. And I'm gonna replace the Solar Plexus. There we go. And now we're going to upgrade some stuff. I'll upgrade the Guardian. And I also... I think that's good. For now. Alright, destroy a dice. 
I'm not running an enhanced build, so I'm gonna destroy that this enhanced dice. And because I don't know this game yet, I'm gonna recover a heart. All right, let's do it. What is this fucker's gimmick? Uh, at the end of enemy's turn, fabricates two corrupted sentinels. Can't have more than two corrupted sentinels in battle. And at the end of this turn, apply one doom to this creature. Okay, so he's constantly ramping up. And also... He's constantly ramping, which is a problem. And he's also hitting himself. But this will stop him from hitting himself, which is good. Okay. This game looks so sick. It really, the art style of this game is super good. Get some damage on the Twilight Sigil. I don't think I want to reroll his, his dice. In general, though, it seems like the longer this battle goes on, the worse off I am. There's a chance that this could reroll into something worse, and I have nothing to convert right now. So I'll just take the damage to myself. And then we'll do this to heal it. And then we'll just attack. Ooh, I got a critical. I keep forgetting that I have that critical. And it just sometimes comes in clutch. Yeah, I know, but I don't have anything I want to reroll, so. So now he's going to summon shit. Okay, what does this do? Draw a second die. This effect stays active while the Corrupted Sentinel causing it is active. So that would be this one, then. Okay, so this fucker needs to die first. Well, it looks like I don't need to worry too much about that. Hmm, but wait, can I reroll any of these to do AoE? Hmm. No, let's just kill this guy for sure. Get rid of that boost. And then we could use this to get rid of the other one. Hmm. Let's reroll this one. Because there's a chance it could turn into the negative one. And if it turned into the negative one, I'd be able to convert and get some damage off. But I ended up not getting it. Yeah, I can only convert in my hand. Oh, wait, I can still... I could do this. I kind of want this to roll the negative. Oh, I ended up getting more damage anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> okay. And he's ramping up still, and here comes his Sentinel's friends again. Okay, this boss is starting to get hard. Oh, so, so now they're both doing something. Okay. <laughs> Convert all dice. Now you're purifying me, everybody. Nice. <laughs> Still probably should kill those bastards, though. Oh, I should have done that first. Oh, well. It's a learning experience. It's all a learning experience, chat. Think you can use all your virtues this turn? I can. You're right. Because I converted more. Thanks for notice notifying me of that. Oh shit, I keep forgetting to play my Sentinel's dice. <laughs> it's whatever, learning experience, learning experience, learning experience. Shut up, chat, shut up, chat. Silencing aura. All your virtues are disabled. Oh fuck, that's not good. 
Not be that means I won't be able to reroll. Hmm. There's a lot to learn, but it's fun to do so. It feels like it, yeah. Thanks, Darius. How are you doing today? I can't. Oh, but I could use it says all my virtues are disabled, but I could use this for some reason. He's gonna do five damage to me. It does seem to present that input well enough. Ow. <laughs> I took some thorns damage there. I should probably kill the thorns guy if I can. I'm gonna reroll both of these. And then convert whichever one rolls badly. Okay, sweet. Deal nine damage to him. Let's block up. Remember Sentinel rerolls? Yeah, um. Oh, he's doing two purification to all targets. Nice. I don't, I don't need to worry about that then. So I'm taking five damage here. So, unless he's attacking, yeah, he's, hi Zabrio, how are you doing today? So he's doing five damage to me, which I could easily tank because I, I could, I'm gonna only take four. This guy's doing nothing and this guy's gonna heal me. All right, so I'm fine for this turn. So I think I'm gonna start trying to kill this guy. And like, Julie pulls down so you got too much free time. You don't know what to do with. You'll live. And then my sentinels ended up taking out the two summons before he had a chance to summon more. That's what we like to see, chat. Holy shit. I got no bad rolls there, which actually is kind of a problem. Because I like converting. All right, let's heal and defend. Five more Twilight Sigil. Uh, defend. No, that's pretty much the lowest it can go. You convert builds do love Risky Diet. Yeah, they do. I need to get more. Okay, fine. I'm trying to reroll to get the fucking... Okay, we ended up getting more damage on this, so that's fine. Ooh, I got a critical. I'm going to block most of this damage. That's good. He's only got 32 health left. So we're, we're, we're pretty good right now. I think this is going to be an easy win. So what do they got doing there? Increases over corruption by one. And he's got decreases purification. So he's defending. And this person's giving it thorns. <laughs> Get shit on, idiot. <laughs> Get shit on, idiot. Okay. Choose a new sentinel. Pog. Precision is interesting. That's an AoE. Choose a die from your hand to copy and roll. That's not bad. But I'm going to shuffle these in a sec. I want to try and get one that I actually can reroll.
Eh. I'll skip. Bright enhancement. No, I'm not going an enhanced build, so that's not that useful. Here we go. This is what I want. Expertise plus. This is what I want. This is the fucking one I want. Expertise plus. Give me. Black Hole Blessing. Draw one additional die per turn. At the start of each battle, gain two stunned. Uh, increases purification received by enemies by one. Increases corruption received by enemies by one. Or draw one additional die per turn. At the start of each battle, apply one decay to a random enemy. Hmm, I'm not sure if I like any of these. This one's not bad, because I might be able to convert the enemy's dice. The problem is that, like, I'm not always converting enemy dice. And taking more damage is just kind of bleh. I'm going to shuffle these. Let's see what else I get here. Increases purification received by all targets by one. Draw one fewer dice per turn. It's not me taking more? Oh. More corruption and purify. Oh! Hmm, I probably should have taken that then. Oh well, I misread it. Replace your reroll virtue with enhance one virtue. I'm not going an enhanced deck, so that's worthless. Draw one additional die per turn. At the start of each battle, apply four unholy mists to you. Oh, no. I don't... I don't like that. I'm okay. I like this one. I like Miss Lamp. That one isn't too bad. I like this because I'm already drawing two more dice per turn. So I'm still getting an extra dice, but I don't know if that's worth it just for one more damage on every dice. If I, if I was going like some sort of multi-hit build, that would be incredible, but I'm not. I think I might just skip. Just because I'm not confident in this game enough to take something like this. But yeah. it's just blocking a bit of purify. I know. Fine, I'll do it. I'll take the lamp. If I regret this, I'm fucking banning you from chat. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's a joke. That is a fucking joke. The final challenge of ground zero. Okay. I'll take the risk. You know what this needs more of? I might need more risky die. Let's get more risky die. This die is such a fucking meme. It's such a fucking meme, but it's so funny. What happens? Can I, uh, if I convert this, does it change to gain a heart? Because that's pretty fucking awesome if it does. Can't convert it? Oof. Well, that's risky then. I already have one of those in my deck. I don't think having another one in my deck is a good idea then. I'm, I probably will want to save my rerolls for that then. So, unforgeable means also you can't convert it then, huh? Is just between purify and corrupt? Ah, okay. So, it's not just the opposite effect. Oh, I've got two of them in my deck. Oh, shit. I'm gonna need to save my rerolls for that in case I roll one. Yeah, I need to read them a bit better. I'm starting to get it, though. Alright, I get it. That makes sense. Let's shuffle these, then. Yeah, I was thinking Sigil. 
Manipulate is good here, I think, too. Yeah. I was going to say, manipulate sounds good here. I might want to destroy some stuff for my deck. I've got seven risky dice now. Should I get more? <laughs> Should I get more, chat? Should I get more? I'm addicted to risk. <laughs> sure. Why not? No balls, right? Enhance isn't good. Uh, expertise seems good. Yeah, expertise sounds great. I never know that's worthless. That's worthless. That's worthless. Nah, I don't like any of these. I don't like any of these, so I'll skip. I don't want to cl clutter my deck too much. All right, we're going for the hard battle because I'm a fuck it. Because I, I, we're fuck it, we ball. Okay, this guy does seven corruption if he fills his corruption gauge. That's pretty problematic. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, what does he do? So he has thorn and it will hatch in three times. Whenever purification is received, apply one serenity to this enemy. At the end of enemy's turn, lose all serenity. Okay, I see. Okay. Stuff is happening. Then does seven plus corrupts. I got it. Okay. So I got to kill him fast then. I seem to be doing a pretty decent job of killing him fast. <laughs> I'm pretty decent job of killing him fast. Except I just drew a bunch of converts and I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> well, I can already, uh... Well, I can do this. That does some fucking banger ass damage to him. And yeah, I was, I was thinking of re-rolling, uh... I'm gonna re-roll this, I think. Because it has a chance to give me damage. Just doing converts even if not using the face stacks damage. Yeah, I agree, because of the because of the Twilight Sigil. Alright, let's re-roll this. Ah, I didn't get it. Well I could I could try re-rolling again. There's no negative on that, no negative on that. Hmm, there's a negative on this. There we go. That's pretty good. Ow, I'm kind of in pain though. Oh, that helps. <laughs> okay, he's gonna die next turn. That's fine. He's only got six health left. Yeah, he's gonna die to this. Sweet. <laughs> Easy peasy battle. 
That reminds me of the one battle from Slay the Spire, where, uh, ooh, what do we got? Ooh, another convert die! Or a Twilight Sigil. Ooh, choices, choices, choices. Well, choices, choices, choices. Convert or Twilight Sigil. Hmm. How many converts do I have in my deck right now? I've got one here. One here. That's three. Four. Five. Like five ways to convert. Observe by the Mist. Sigil Synergize is really hard. Oh, yeah, right. The Mist. I gotta remember to keep an eye on that because of the Mist. I'm gonna go with Sigil. Ingenious Touch, not working for my build. Refresh, my Virtues is not bad, but it's also not really great. Defensive Light's not bad, but not amazing either. It might be good because I might need some more defense because of the way I will have less healing. I'm gonna Sigil. <laughs> more sigils. <laughs> more highlight sigils. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know what? Uh, at the start of each battle, refresh your virtues. Whenever you're, you or a sentinel deal corruption to an enemy, you receive three purification. At the end of your turn, gain one light shield for each dice in your hand. Yeah, this seems really good. All right, you can fix bad turn one. Yeah, it feels like that. I think I might go for the risky dice here, then maybe go for the star shards and destroy a dice. Plus, I was thinking the same fucking thing, bro. I was thinking the same fucking thing. We're on the exact same wave like there. I'm gonna go for this. Let's see what we can get here. Draw a risky dice. Gonna skip these. Manipulate. <sighs> okay. All right, let's destroy a dice. Okay, what am I getting rid of? Probably something boring, like this, or this. This feels like something that you'd use in an enhanced deck, and I'm I just seem find this very underwhelming. But it does have an AoE on it, I guess. Because those feel like they would be you'd use them in an enhanced deck, which I'm, you know, not running. All right, harder battle because fuck my life. Oh shit! What is this shit? Uh, when below or equal to half of max corruption, apply two doom to this enemy. Okay, so basically they scale. Got it. Hmm. Anti AoE fight? Oh, yeah, because they like. Unless you can kill them all really quickly. Let's see. What is this doing? Deal two corruption to you, add two paralyzed to you. You want to try to do one at a time. Got it. Let's... Well, I know I want to convert this. And one of, I, I want to convert one of the enemies for sure. The second one, Min. The second one, obviously. Who do you think I am? I mean, look at mine. Who do you think I am? It's clear what I like. <laughs> Light shield to them to stop their overcorrupts is useful. Yeah, I figured. Because the overcorrupt seems dangerous. Because they're going to do AoE. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks, Min. 
I appreciate it. Let's do that. Maybe I should have converted that. Oh, wait, I still can't. <laughs> okay. It is, it, that is exactly what it is, man. I know you said that this battle counters AoE, but if I'm just getting nothing but AoE, then I'm gonna fucking fuck it, we ball. Ah, uh, that sucks. Oh, uh, that sucks. Oh, you got, I'll just do it on you, I guess. I got, play at least 10 dice in a single turn. It's like roguelike deck deck builder is basically it. Roguelike deck builder is the best name for it. I don't like the idea of being paralyzed. Let's see if I can change that. Huh, I paralyzed myself for less, so that's good. Okay, so this guy's gonna give himself doom. So I should try to kill him sit right now. Oh god. <laughs> That's a pretty bad hand. But I think I can turn it into a good hand. Yeah, I can turn this into a good hand for sure. Oh, if I could roll expertise. One sec, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna roll this and this. All right. If I could roll expertise here. I didn't, but I still gotta I still gotta convert too, so that's good. Let's try again. We'll do that and this. Okay, we can still convert everything in my hand. Okay. So that's good. I need to defend because I can't heal. And because of that, I now have access to all of my things. Kill that motherfucker. So I blocked two healing. But I got two things. He's gonna deal two dam three damage to me. Okay. Overall, I think I'm okay. Let's go for this guy. And we'll do that so that they don't get below two health. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now let me let's see if we can end it. This guy needs to die this turn. This guy, I need to let him chill for a bit. All right, we got Twilight Sigils, Stellar Cleanse. Getting a manipulate would be nice. I think I don't want to reroll that. That one has pretty good odds. Okay, cancel. I want to reroll one of these for sure. I think I want to reroll this one. It made of one of those magical materials. Crystal. Ah, uh, crystal sounds like better. I probably would go with crystal, man. Let's go with first things first. I want to kill this guy for sure this turn, so let's do that. Which one am I rerolling? I think this one, so I have a chance to convert, maybe? Nope, I didn't get lucky. I got unlucky. Uh, I think I'll convert convert that one. No, if I convert that one, this guy gets a buff.
Ah, I'm stunned. Shit. I don't know if I would just be like, <laughs> it has the cute vibe. Not, you know, that's kind of a based opinion, all things considered. Honestly, I'm gonna be taking four damage from this motherfucker. I think he needs to die, but I don't think I could kill him this turn. I can't roll again. I'm stunned. <laughs> I am incapable of rolling again. Your character has four? Based. Absolutely based, Soul Saver. Using this is scary, but it will... I'm gonna do this. Fuck it, I'm sorry. This might be a mistake, but I'm taking four, five, six, seven. I got one. I think I'm dead. Fuck, I shouldn't have. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. Literally unbased. Ah! <laughs> unbased! Yeah, I'm dead. Or at least I only lost one heart. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. It's just one heart. Banners of Ruin? Yeah, I've heard of it. it was at this moment that he knew. He up. Yes, I fucked up. We get it. Aw, oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to reroll that. I do not want that. Anything is better than that. Uh, what else can we reroll here? Only the last point matters? I completely agree. So we're, we a hundred percent need to reroll this because I cannot afford to lose a heart. Let's reroll that to potentially get a convert. Hell yeah! Got him. <laughs> you like gonna have a fourth feed. Deal two purification to yourself for each die in your hand. End your turn without discarding any dice from your hand. Interesting. I don't really like these though for my current deck. You're not healing right. True. I'm gonna reroll. Ooh, a risky Twilight Sigil? I like that. Yeah, I'm going to take the risky Twilight Sigil. Eureka! I like Eureka. <laughs> Do the hearts refresh each battle? No. The hearts are permanent. I think your health goes back to full, but your hearts do not. So your hearts are like your permanent health, from my understanding. I'm going to go with Eureka. We're going all in on risky dice. Hopefully it's not a fuck up. Increase purification dealt by Sate die. Increase purification dealt by starter die. In a drop phase, you could reroll all dice from your hand. I probably want that, actually. Bottled Aurora feels like really good for my build. Hey, Alexi, how are you doing? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because like, if I, I mean, since I'm running a bunch of risky dice, being able to reroll away, like, uh, like getting one of those bad heart rolls would be really, really useful. I'm going to grab that because it's fucking stuffed. Bro, get just do one of those nose cleansings. I have 30 heart d dice in my deck. I think my deck is getting pretty thick. I need more and it might be too bloated. Just keep in mind, if your hand is average, you can get worse. That's true. But I don't have to reroll, right? Like, I, I don't think my gourd forces me to reroll. It's just that I can reroll if I want to. I think I want to go to the forge. Oh, epic die and star blessings. Epic shot might be good, actually. Mm, but then I have to go through the two risky die, which I don't necessarily need more dice. But this seems good. 
It's either that or I go to the forge shop. You have excess money and can just skip? Yeah, I'm feeling like it. All right, let's see what we get here. Although this is a very good dice. Although so is this. <laughs> so is this. First prediction is pretty good actually. Hmm. Because that allows, if I'm reading this right, I could choose any side. Meaning, it's like it's like it's like a reroll, except I choose what it rolls to, right? But it depends on how bad the paralyzed hex die are. No, it's just one dice. The number is how many paralyzed dice I get. It's always just one dice. Drawing less is always pretty tough to work around. I agree. But being able to manipulate a dice could be, could lead to some banger turns. Especially with how powerful some of my dice are. It's either that or skip. Or, or I grab Nocturne compre Comprehension. Curse Prediction is pretty good, though. It's just that it depends on how bad that paralyzed dice is. I'm gonna go with it. I agree. I'm gonna go with it. Just the ability, like, it'll, it'll give me some banger turns. Because I'll be able to, like, for example, like, flip my dice to, uh, where is it? To, like, Eureka? Or... Where is it? I could flip to the one that converts all dice in my hand. This one, Nocturne Comprehension. I'd be if I get that, I'd be able to like get some really powerful turns potentially. I think I don't like any of these, so I'm gonna shuffle. Scarlet Sigil could be good, but I'm just gonna skip for now. Okay, what do we got here? Embrace. Another Nocturne Comprehension. I'm gonna shuffle these, actually. I think what I really want is... Not these. Not Downfall Strike. Nah. I don't want to clog my deck. Alright, let's buy some stuff. For the what I'm assuming is the final challenge. Oh, fuck. Right, what else we got here? Star Blessings. Every eight safe die. No, I'm not running safe die. Every third two, three turns, apply two light shields to our targets. Ooh, that's a good one. You unclock the heart equivalent? I see. Got it. So you want to beat the game as every single character in order to get to the final boss. Got it. This seems good, Stellar Flag. Like, that seems really good. But so does the Eureka dice. I could get both. Or I could shuffle to get some new things. The manipulate dice seems good too. In fact, the manipulate dice might be better. I might buy the. I think I'll buy the manipulate for sure. But I think I think I'm gonna get stellar flag actually, because uh, I need ways to get defense because my healing is a little uh, shot right now. And I will buy Manipulate Plus. Because that could help defend. Alright, that's good. I'm going to recover my heart here. Because I, if, I was, if I was confident in this game, I might be able to get away with not doing that. Oh shit. The fuck is this thing? Alright, what do we got here? Always draw a second die and negates one buff. Which would be good as the blocks corruption? Yes, exactly. Okay, reroll hand? No, this is not a good this is a good hand, actually.
Do I have any moon? Potentially getting moon? Yes, I do. I want to reroll this dice. Okay, I for sure want to reroll that. Apply two decay to self. Oh shit, I want to not have him do that twice in a row, please. I want to have him not do that twice. There we go. Okay, got rid of the hollow skin. And you can't shield or stop it anyway. Yeah, it definitely feels like that. So I want to I'm going to try to reroll that away. There we go. And now I could use this to turn that into healing. And he's got Unfortunately, I wasn't able to apply the uh because he had that buff block. There we go. Okay, I'm not... Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do too much to him here. Okay. Not a terrible first turn. Basically, it got some damage in and he accomplishes nothing. So that's good enough for me. Okay, what's he going to do this time? Decay. This is a good hand, so I'm not going to fuck with it. That's a success. I agree. Hmm. If I could, I could convert all cards in my hand. So I think what I want is maybe more, uh, more things to convert in my hand. Yeah, like that. Okay. Then what's that? Deal some damage to him. So what's he gonna do? He's gonna do six corruption damage to me. But he's also gonna do six to himself. I see how that works. Okay. Manipulate his device. Ooh, true. I forgot that I had manip in my hand. Is this is that the bitter hot the what the bitter hot oh my gosh I just got it oh you fucking dumbass you absolute dumbass that's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life and I'm sad that I got it <laughs> all right I think I can just unload my hand now. Oh, I probably should have put that light shield on him. I was seeing if I could reroll that into like a negative dice to convert it. You're so used to infinity brain. <laughs> I can see that. Okay, I think this is going very well for me so far. That's really not the greatest hand in the world. And I don't have a lot of convert in my hand, but I could maybe re-roll it into being a good hand. He's kind of the perfect boss for a convert deck. I'm noticing that for sure. I want to re-roll that for sure. If there's, a, if I have something that allows me to re-roll my hand, that'd be amazing, but I don't see anything here. I think I could reroll this hand. Hmm, much better hand. <laughs> much better hand. Okay, let's use the reroll on maybe this. 
Hmm, he's going to be applying two ruin to himself. I don't know. He's going to be applying six ruin. No. Three ruin to himself. Okay. Let's get the Twilight Sigils on him first. Give me some damage on that. So he's going to be dealing three corruption to me. While also receiving his own. I think I can deal with the Ruin. He's got like no ramp there. So I think we're fine. Okay, I think I can just unload my hand now. Holy shit, I just got a fucking massive critical hit! <laughs> My fucking 20 damage! 55 damage! 55 damage! 15% <laughs> crit, baby! Get shit on, nerd! Get shit on! No, this is a good hand. I don't need to reroll that. Okay, how, how can I kill him this turn? That's the question, ain't it? I think... I think I need to first reroll this to get away from his decay. He ended up getting it anyway. Oh well. Whatever. Precision face it away. I could do that, but honestly, he's only got 50 health left, and he's only got 3 out of 25. I think I can live with him having 2 decay. Like, I'm going to kill him soon anyway. It's really not a big deal. Instead, I want to focus on seeing how if I can... Uh, besides, especially if I apply three light shield to him like that. I'm not even going to use the precision dice, I think, because I don't want to add three paralyzed things to my deck. So I'm just going to defend, deal some damage, deal some damage. Yeah, not the best turn in the world, but I don't think I'm in a particularly bad situation. I think I'm okay. A good convert hand, and he's ruined. Here we go. Ooh, that's a lot of bad dice. Okay. That feels like a reroll to me. There we go. That's a better hand. Still not the greatest hand in the world. But I think I can still kill him here. Maybe. Oh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he's fucking dead. Corruption purified. So, chat, uh, that was my first ever run of this game. And I won. I don't know. Game's kind of easy with that character, at least. <laughs> that character is kind of easy, I guess. <laughs> nice. Astria's heart reached.
You the best. I am the best. Look at that. God gamer detected. Level up. You've reached level two. I unlocked star telescope. Gain a star blessing with a pass. Okay. Telescope and a chest at the start of the run. Babby's first character. <laughs> Rebel 2. New dice will appear using these new actions in future runs. Gain Moonlight. Whenever you play a Hex die, all targets receive X purification. Ooh, Hex die synergy. That's interesting. But it, it, I'm assuming that this game is similar to Slay the Spire. Uh, is the safest character the rest get riskier and riskier? I figured. But I also think that if this game is anything like Slay the Spire, Slay the Spire is actually easy as sin on Ascension 1 or Ascension 0. And I'm assuming that this game has an Ascension equivalent where it eventually becomes really hard. That's my that's my assumption. That's my hard call out. I'm assuming that the base game is very easy and it gets much harder in later like ascension equivalents because I, i'm almost certain that this thing yes it becomes much harder yeah i figured okay good good i'm glad because like that was fun though I'm, I'm digging this game yeah here we go already right there anomaly level one there you go there's the ascension <laughs> there's there's the ascension chat i think you'll like this character Chat, I think you guys will like this character. Just, I'm just, I'm just kind of guessing that y'all will like this character. Because I like this character. I like this character. So if I like this character, then you guys should like this character too. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a run with him next, obviously. All right, I'm going to take a short break to get some water because uh, I am parched. So give me just a brief moment to do that. I will be right back.
Okay, I have returned. I am now hydrated. I am now uh, a little hot, so I'm gonna take my sweater off. One sec. Okay, I've returned. Again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's do another run. I think I got time for that. Uh, also, I'm enjoying this game more than I expected, so I might end... I was going to stream Binding of Isaac tomorrow, but uh, I might end up streaming this game tomorrow. Seems like you guys are enjoying it a lot. Holy shit. <laughs> Seems like you guys are enjoying it, so if you guys are enjoying it, I'd be down to stream it again. Hey, Cactus. How you doing today? Progression, 7.71%. Highest win streak. Look at that. Where's my win rate? <laughs> Where's my 100% win rate after one win? We enjoy me enjoying things. Sounds good to you. I'll do a little bit of a pull. 100% win rate after one run. <laughs> All right, new game. We got a new character. How do I unlock this person? I got to level up Solarius to level two. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we just played a run with this character, Flaming. Now we're going to be playing a run with this character. Who, uh... Um... Um... I like this character. I like this character. Should I say, because the streamer itself is quite interesting. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'm a variety streamer, Souls. So, if you are enjoying my content i d i play like everything like for example in terms of like my variety i just recently played uh bait and kaitos origins on stream which is a really old obscure kind of jrpg uh i'm also planning to play mario wonder when it comes out this friday on stream and i'm also planning to play alan wake 2 when it comes out the next week just to give you an example of the kind of range of games i play if it's new and it's cool there's a good chance i'll be interested in playing it i also like to play some obscure stuff like this sometimes I have a lot of variety. Yeah, I, I I try to really get good variety because I don't want to have my viewer base ever get feel like I get locked into playing like a specific thing. Like, I feel like a lot of streamers kind of get trapped playing something to get viewers. I don't want to be like that. I want to play whatever the fuck I want to play and I want people to show up for that. That's my that's my goals. Life goals right there. <laughs> Okay, so what do we got here? Profession, warrior, he's an Eldrian Anor, Encore is his Astrarium, uh, Solarius. Man, I have no preference, like, at all. I would take both. Like, I would just, I would straight up take both. I don't give a shit, as long as I have one. <laughs> I don't... All right, he's one of the bravest warriors, was trained to warfare against corruption, always ready for a fight, and with a joke right at the tip of his fin, he was chosen by the... The Iridian Anchor to take on the Astrarium mission. Prepared with unusual physical endurance, Solaris deals massive amounts of purification and strengthens himself through pain. Got it. So he likes taking damage. He's based... What, what I'm hearing here is that he is uh, the same as the warrior from Slay the Spire, whatever the fuck his name was. The Ironclad. He's Ironclad. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> He's... But more self damage focus given this game. Yeah, this game seems like it's very. Like, damage in this game is negligible unless you lose a heart, which is interesting. Because Slay the Spire is all about health management, and losing even just a little bit of health against an enemy can add up to, like, a lot against the boss. But in this game, it really doesn't matter how much damage you take if you don't lose a heart, which is so interesting. It's definitely a very different way to uh, approach it. I'm wondering if it might be too easy, but I'm sure that once we get to higher anomaly levels, it'll start to get bullshit. Alright, let's play with Solaris. 
The Tainted Reef, Chapter 1. The Tide Hammer. Let's take a look at his starting deck. Mm, pretty basic. We got Shark Blow. Yeah, he does. He, he, right here, I could tell he does self damage. Okay. Got it. <laughs> he loves self damage. I'm. Oh, shit. He loves self damage. I'm assuming he's going to have. Uh, I'm probably going to want to go for stuff where when I have really low. Uh, like, basically, high, high corruption build or whatever. Would be really good on him, probably. Also, I probably shouldn't be going Risky Dice as much, because I don't have Convert. <laughs> Friar Anomaly, one of the earliest ones is Imagine all enemies' buffs get doubled. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that'll be hard. Rune, what the fuck? Rune, what the fuck? <laughs> Are you... What the fuck? <laughs> Why? Why you do this to me? Okay, let's fuck this thing up. Okay, let's take a look at what his uh, things are. Okay, so his normal ability is deal pu purification to all targets. His virtue, his first virtue is deal. His last virtue is deal three purification to an enemy two times. Damn it! Die wolf! Damn it! Maybe he just hits the gym a bunch. This character was the first character I saw that I was like, okay, I might need to buy this game. But then there's another character, the next character after this one, that was like, okay, I really need to buy this game. <laughs> so, get excited. Needless to say. Let's see what we got here. So he's going to do three corrupt... Ooh, that's dangerous, because he's, he's going to do six damage to me. Holy shit. That's a lot. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. That's a lot. Oh, I should have done that. I'm an idiot. We're learning. We're learning. We're learning. I should have done that after I did this. And since he's going to do... Uh, oh, wait. I can do this. Okay. That's going to hurt, though. But we're alive, and that's all that fucking matters. And he's gonna do it again. Wow. Rude. Like, fucking rude, dude. Um... Let's heal. I'm not going to take any chances until I understand this character a bit more. But man, this thing's doing a lot of damage to me. But now I have access to this. And it's, we can fucking smash his head in. Which is what I like to see. Fuck, you smash that bitch's head in. Let's heal up. Ah, I get it! Oh! Oh, man, I'm sorry. There's any mandatory virtues that could possibly self-damage. I get it. I get it. You could, like... I, I didn't realize that if you use a virtue and then get damaged below the virtue, you could use the virtue again. Oh. Oh, I get it. I fucking get it. <laughs> okay. It's clicking. It's clicking in my brain. It's clicking. It, like, it's clicking. I'm getting it. I'm fucking getting it, chat. I'm fucking getting it. <laughs> Whoa, that's insane, yeah. Apply five wave. When enemies with wave are defeated, all targets receive X purification. AoE, okay. To keep, say, getting Mooney's reroll? Yeah. Decrease one die from your hand with any type of corrupt action to value to end of enemy's turn. Ignore doom. Wait, what?
Oh, so basically it, it, it kills any... Cur okay, all right. Deal purification to any target for each time you received corruption during this battle. That's amazing, but I could also reroll that into, like, something horrible. Has another die that uses this value? Well, I'm doing a wave build. Fuck it. Yeah, wave crasher. Got it. <laughs> so wave deck, wave deck, wave deck. <gasps> Wait, what else we got here? Choose a die from your draw pool to draw and roll. If your draw pool is empty, dice from discard are shuffled back into your draw pool. And then deal five corruption to myself. Basically draw any card I want. Okay. Not bad. What does this do? Prevents your next heart loss until the end of enemy's turn. If this effect is triggered, fully fills your corruption meter with purification and refresh your virtues. That's an incredible effect. That is an incredible effect if you get it. But you could also just end up rolling it bad. But that's an incredibly strong effect. But Wave Crasher feels like what I want for this build. If we're going to do a wave build, then let's go all in on it. We've already got two pieces for it. All right. What, 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 what? Kills on. What, 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 what? Wait, what's he doing? Probably one doom to this creature. Oh, I can handle that. What, 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 why? Are you okay, Killzone? Apply that wave to that ass. Okay, yeah, I'm getting it. <laughs> I'm getting it, chat. Did, uh, in Warframe to spawn with it. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm just going to say congrats and pretend I know what you're talking about. This enemy is a perfect as an anomaly example, gaining two doom per turn. Oof, yeah. That sounds rough. Oh, the wave heals me! Okay, all right. Because it does it to everybody. Okay, that's sick. That's sick. I'm getting it. Yeah, okay, wave build seems fun. Cleave, deal purification to all enemies. Well, AoE's always good, especially since it, it, AoE kind of spot synergizes with wave as well, kind of. Honestly, this might be like a safe, safe dice build. <laughs> safe dice build. Or I could skip this one. I already drank water, but I could stretch and check my posture. Uh, you say skip? Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a skip here. Oh, there's the strength. There's... There's the fucking... But how do I survive that? I don't think I have the build to take advantage of this, but I can see this being very, very good. If I have a good dice it, it, if, with this with the right build i could see this being incredible if i can mitigate this corruption damage somehow and just gain some a bunch of empowers it could go to enemies ah oh, true yeah i still get the empower when i target an enemy hmm, that's pretty good then i don't think my current build works with that though Like, if I really want... If I'm kind... I feel like I might be forcing wave too much, but I got two really good pieces of wave. So I think I'm just going to skip and just go for the game plan. All right. What do we got here? A sentinel shop. I think I might go this way just to have another chance to get some dice to, because I've been skipping. And power increases your virtue purification value as well until the end of your turn.
temporary in power. Green offering feels pretty good. Well, so does Geyser Uppercut, actually. Marine offering and Geyser Uppercut sound good. Marine offering can help uh, discard, but if I'm going a safe build, I don't need to worry about discarding my stuff. I'm gonna grab Geyser Uppercut. That sounds good. All right, let's buy a Sentinel. This card from hand. Sounds like wake up DP. I'm not a fan of either of these Sentinels, to be honest. But I guess they're better than not having a Sentinel. Yeah. I'm gonna leave, actually. I'm gonna save my Star Shards. Bit of a shame. Wait, there was a shuffle option? I could have shuffled. I'm an idiot. Fuck. Look, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning, okay? I don't know what I can do yet. What do these fuckers do? They apply doom to me. I'm gonna take five damage here. So many thorns. So many thorns. I'll, fi I'll we'll live. We'll figure it out. I'm gonna roll re-roll these two. Okay, that looks a little better. So this guy's gonna do... Oh man, I'm taking so much fucking damage. Apply some wave to that boy. Let's heal. Well, this is kind of starting to get a little out of hand. But we can get through it. We'll have we have the power of science on our side. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh the power of science might be failing me, chat. How much damage is coming my way? One, two, three, four. Okay, so I live. No, I don't. I need to... Reroll this shit. Welp! Adios, heart! <laughs> I fucked up! Well, I should. Oh wait, I can. I'll just heal you, I guess. Unfortunate. Oh no, that's still gonna kill me. Yeah, fuck me. That might have been a bigger mistake. Ah, fuck. Whoops, I fucking stupid. Yeah, I know, I'm fucking stupid. I, I just killed myself again. I just... I could've healed. I wanted to like, oh, I'm gonna activate this. And I, if I healed, I would've been fine. But I 
fucking stupid, dude. Like, I'm actually fucking stupid. I just killed myself again. Wow, dude. This is not a good run. <laughs> it's okay. All that matters is that I don't lose the last heart. All that matters is that I don't lose the last heart. Many then restart fight. Yes, I figured you could do that. I figured because this is risky rain. Not risky rain. Uh, slay the spire. It's the same as slay the spire. You can do that. It's okay, but this is just part of the learning experience. I don't know. Wow, I made that worse. Great. Yeah, I know. I think I'm dead. The fact that he applies doom to me is uh, awful. Bro, I'm fucking dead. They said the game was too easy. Look, it's my fault I fucked up, okay? I get it. It's easy when I'm not fucking up. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, here I am. Fuck it. I'm going to the main menu. Fuck it. We're starting over. I fucked up too badly. <laughs> I'm safe scumming. <laughs> I'm s There we go. Now it's going to be an easy win. Just you watch. Hey! Thank you so much for the Prime sub! I really appreciate it. There we go. Now it's going to be an easy win. The cool losing sprite. You want to see the game over screen? Bro, I'm still likely to die. See, look at that. I just need to get into the flow of this character and I'll win, no problem. It's all about getting into the right fucking mental state. Okay. See, look. Look at how much better I'm doing now that I understand. It's all about understanding what I need to be doing and how to approach doing it. Whoops. Well, um... That's a problem. I was hoping to land one of these, but I just got stupidly unlucky. Huh. It's fine. It's fine. It's fucking fine.
It's fine. I still lose a heart. I get it. This isn't a hard fight, and I did skip a lot of, uh... One sec, I'm gonna do... I was hoping to do a little bit more damage than that. I'm not gonna lie, but it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Hey Claw, how are you doing today? It's fine, all of this is just part of the learning experience. Oh boy, I just drew more damage to myself. Oh, that's so great. Ah, uh, I gotta do this. I think I'm not dead, though? Not dead, though. Not <laughs> question my Dendori. I'm not dead. That's what's important. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. Are you fucking kidding me? Wait. There we go. That's how a fucking gamer does it. You gotta find the lines, chat. <laughs> we still lost a heart, though. I don't know if I like any of these. Not for a wave build, but I mean, this doesn't seem bad, but rebound. Hmm. If I'm doing, if I am committing to wave, then I'm gonna need more stuff that synergizes with wave. Yeah, I saw that claw, it was pretty funny. I might skip here. I'm gonna skip. Rebound is not bad for wave to keep getting your wave dice back. Oh, true. Yeah, I could have done that. Hmm. Every eight safe die. Oh, I might want this. I'm playing a lot of safe die. Yeah, I'm grabbing that. I'm playing a lot of safe die. So that might be like pop off really hard. If I destroyed a dice from my deck, what would I get rid of? I don't think I need this many self damages in my deck, but... I 
gotta head out. Okay, Rune, have a great night. Take care. One sec. I want to duplicate a die, so I'm gonna go this way. So if I destroyed a die from my deck, which one would I get rid of? Well, I'm not really doing a self-damage build, so I guess I can remove one of these shark blows. And then we'll duplicate this one. No, this one. So that we can get more wave. And for this, I'm gonna recover a heart. If I have three if I had three hearts there, I would have sacrificed a heart. Alright, let's do this. I have a good feeling about this battle. Maybe. Maybe I shouldn't have a good battle about this, but I sh I I'm having a, a good feeling about this. How? Using the trade command, Claw. There's a trade command. That's right. You can trade. I'm the best. The best. Okay. Oh, now back to gaming. Um, I'm feeling good about this. There's nothing to reroll here that would be beneficial to me, so end turn. You gotta you gotta roll one for a thousand points. Give him all the fucking wave, chat. Oh yeah, the wave is starting to pop off. I can feel it. The wave is starting to pop off a bit. We're slapping each other this whole time. I'm feeling this deck, chat. This is feeling good. Okay. Look at that, still at full health. Wave Sentinels. I'm just bare. It's like poison, except I have to manually activate it. Not the best hand in the world. Over corrupted. Oh, he's got some doom going now. That's fine. That's fine. I I got half his health down. I, I think I'm good. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> that fucking hurt. Because of the... The vengeful stab. I don't know, I guess I'll reroll this one. Hmm. Shit. I'm gonna lose a heart here. Everyone gets all the poison all the time. Hell yeah. I like poison. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna die here anyway. So... Let's just get some damage in. Like, if I'm gonna lose a heart anyway... Might as well get some damage in. that fucker up. Oh, 
I do not like the vengeful stab. But at the same time, he's almost dead. So I think I'm good. Let's do this first to heal. In four hits, he's gonna deal damage to me. Three more hits and he does five damage to me. So I might want to make these hits count. Or just defend a little bit. I got defense, so I think I can activate it here. Because then I can heal up. Yeah, that looks good. Five health left. I should be able to kill him next turn. Especially with this. Punch his fucking face in. Get wrecked. Nerd ass. Get fucked. All right, baby. Let's see what we got here. Hmm, soothing Remora might be good to help mitigate some of that damage from Corrupt Dice. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Soothing Remora. Also, Fish. Oh, Indigo Soul plus plus. We also got Incorruptible, which is pretty good. Indigo Soul just seems so good, though. Like, it just seems like a good fucking card. All right, what do we got here? Wave is triggered when wave amount is at least equal to enemy's current corruption. At the start of each battle, gain two doom. Ooh, that's Oh. That does synergize with my bat with my deck, but the two doom might kill me. But with Indigo Soul, oh, that that's probably the best one. I'm taking it. It synergizes with my build, so I'm taking it. Indigo Soul is gonna have to really keep me alive then. Or I need to get rid of my self-damage things. Like, I might need to start removing these from my deck. Okay, what do we got here? Choose two dice. Forge, shop, destroy. Well, I was talking about removing stuff from my deck. Forge shop might be good too, because I've got a lot of star shards. I might go here into there. Maybe no. Maybe I'll go... Choose two dice into Forge. Let's do that. Okay, let's see what we got here. Another Surf? That's pretty good. What's this, though? Apply two light shields to any target. If played, this die is returned to your draw pool instead of just being discarded. Ah, uh, okay. But I'm gonna take this. Sharknado! Skip. Okay, let's see what we got at the forge here. Show me what I can make. An indigo soul? Or a serenity. Ooh, these are both... Oh, shit. I gotta buy that indigo soul. Let's put it on... Let's get rid of some of the negatives on these waves. All right. And I'm gonna destroy. I'm gonna destroy one of these. Get rid of these shark blows from my deck. Because of my doom, they're actually more of a hindrance than anything else.
And then I'll duplicate. I'll duplicate this. There we go. <laughs> this seems pretty good. This feels pretty good. But now I need more ways to trigger the wave now. I need more like wave crashers. I need more of wave crashers for this to really be good. Now that I've got lots of ways to keep myself alive and stuff. Okay, we got two motherfuckers here. Okay. Decay. At the start of its turn, increases over corruption by one. When defeated, all targets receive two corruption. When defeated, apply two tomb to all targets. The fact that this thing is stacking corruption means I think I need to kill him fast. So I'm going to wave him. Alright. I'm going to kill this fucker first. Kill this motherfucker first! It still eventually pours a trigger with the relic, which is nice. Yeah. All right. Things are happening. Let's make that guy do less damage. Use the Sentinel. With what? I think I'm still dead. Hmm, that sucks. That sucks. I think I'm still gonna die here. Yeah, I'm super dead. Rip. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine! It's fine, I'm just getting corrupted, it's okay. Oh my gosh, this is nine self-damage. Oh fuck. <gasps> Corruption good? Corruption is very much the opposite of good. I think I'm dead again, bro. Oh, no, I'm not dead because of my block. But I'm very much in danger. Okay, we're still going to be fine. Can this get lower? No, it can't really. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Wah! Okay, we're not fine. Okay, we are fine, but we're also not fine. Bro's doing fucking so much damage to my face. Always check over corrupted enemy AOE. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> this is very sad, but we're going to win still, so it's fine.
see, we're fine. <laughs> I may have lost a heart, but we're fine. Refreshing headbutt feels good. Um, this isn't bad. Sea Quake. The problem is that it's a risky dice and I don't really have a lot of ways to reroll. But then again, oh, but these will all be three damage because of, uh, still, it's a wave synergy. I'll take it. A broken shrine would give me some star shards because I don't really have a lot of those, so... I could use a safe die, balanced die, then gain 50 shards. You recall the fun fact? Tell me your fun fact. I'd like to hear your fun fact, Chief. Because I like fun and I like facts. I'm gonna do this. Oh, oh, this is a good one. Oh, Tidal Jet is good, too. But I think I want this to make the wave really start to sack. And then another Wave Crasher. Excellent stuff. The deck, the build's starting to come together, chat. <laughs> the build's starting to come together. The waves are coming! <gasps> We're gonna do a hard battle because I'm a fucking idiot. Alright. Let's hope this doesn't wreck me. Already off to a really not great start. Oh my gosh, I could have used this. Ah, fuck, I'm an idiot. Oh well. It's fine, I can heal. As they can absorb the AoE corrupts. Ah, I see. Well, his, his first sentinel already died. So, I might have already messed up. All right, good rerolls. Ooh, that would synergize well with strength. The nefarious pulse is coming in. Not a good look for me. I'm gonna need to start doing some serious damage. Thankfully, I am doing some serious damage. So that's good. Damn it! I was hoping to roll the wave crasher. Oh well. That nefarious pulse is starting to stack up. Kinda spooky. Hey! Axel, Axelotl! Thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing today? Five wave. Hey, we damage to everything. All right, still kind of a spooky situation.
Uh oh. Okay. All right. Fuck. I'm taking a lot of damage. I think the sentinel now needs to die or else I'm in big sh deep shit. Oh, well, this helps. I'm no longer in deep shit. <laughs> I am in fact no longer in deep shit. Yeah, I'm gonna kill it now. Now I'm still gonna die this turn to the uh, to the nefarious pulse. So oh, there we go. That's pretty good. So that nefarious pulse will kill me. Oh, it didn't kill me. Okay, I thought it would kill me. Oh my gosh, it fucking killed me after. Ah, fuck. I mathed wrong. Fucking damn it. That sucks. Well, I might be fucking fucked. Yeah, I'm fucking fucked, dude. Well, not yet, but I'm getting there. I think I'm dead. Okay, maybe I'm not dead. Maybe a second. I think I'm okay, actually. Ah. I think I'm not dead. This should only do one damage to me at the start of my turn. Yeah, so I'm not dead yet. And I think he's gonna die soon. In fact, I think he's dead now. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Wave plus plus. Do I feel ballsy enough for that? It seems like he's also got discard synergies, huh? I think it's too risky. Me too. <laughs> That's funny. I think Wave Crasher. I need more Wave Crashers, I think. More ways to trigger wave stuff. Well, not really. Because I've got this, like, stacking wave is better because wave, like, this be basically means that, uh, oh, yeah, I, I know that. I know that, Souls Saber. I, I noticed that. I, if, I feel like I don't necessarily need to trigger wave because of this. I mainly just need to stack it, and if I stack it up to their, to their HP, they die. So I think stacking wave might be better, but I'm not sure. Wave, have it. So I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna fuck it. Fuck it, stack the wave. First, because the sheer force speed of firing will actually stall out the plane. Wow. Sorry, chief. I actually missed your fact because I was busy. And what do we got here? Start of each battle, gain one in power. At the end of your first turn, decrease the power by one. 
Whenever you, you or a Sentinel deal corruption to an enemy, that enemy receives five purification. While you, while you have six corruption on your corruption meter, you deal two additional purification. I'm not really dealing corruption to enemies very often, but all of these kind of suck. I guess the Golden Tooth is okay. I could get some use out of that, whereas the other two are very situational. But they all kind of suck. In regards to the dice, uh... These all kind of suck. Fuck it, I'll just take the two. Man, I went through a hard battle for that. It's bullshit. I'm gonna do this random event. Ayo! We're back in it, baby! <laughs> yes, what can I forge? <laughs> mm, I can't duplicate again. More indigo? I'm thinking that, yeah. Let's destroy the last shark die. There we go. No more self damage. And then I'm kind of low on star shards, so let's grab some more. And we're back up to three hearts. So we should have no problems on this boss. Alright, infinite HP. I guess that means I can't kill those things. Let's see. Change a random sentinel's die into area corrupt one action for the rest of the battle. And he's got... Uh, the start of his turn increases this over corruption by one, and it gets a doom, so it'll ramp. Whenever you play a virtue, apply one doom to a random target. Oh, fuck. I see. Hmm. So I guess you can't kill these sentinels then. Fly doom to a random sentinel. All right, how am I gonna approach this? I'm really negator, armillary rejector. Okay, that feels a little better to manage. Oh fuck, no, that was worse. Well, shit. That's life, ain't it? Oh, no, no. Actually, that's fine. I got this. Let's apply some wave on that bitch. Uppercut that fucker. Aw, oh, shit. Aw, oh, shit. But before they mostly just screw with your sentinels? Got it. Bro, this sucks.
I think I can deal with this. Okay. I need more wave. I might be attacking too slow. My deck might suck for this, unfortunately. Uh-oh. This isn't good for me. Oh, lots of wave, though. He's gonna deal two corruption to all targets. Bah! Man, this kind of sucks. <laughs> but I'm okay for now. I'm okay for now. Okay, let's do that. I think I can just use this to overcrop because I don't really care if he does that to my sentinels. It's not really a big deal. Uh, he's not really doing a lot. I think I'm okay, actually. But he's ramping. That's the problem. As he ramps, I'm going to be in danger. Yeah, the ramping is dangerous. Fuck, he gained another doom from that somehow. Bah. How irritating. Can you use your virtue to stack the doom on a random target? Right, right, I forgot about that because of this. Okay. I'm still gonna use my fucking virtues though. Fuck you. Might not be the smartest thing in the world, but I'm not really the smartest person in the world. You know? I'm kinda stupid. I have negative brain cells, but whatever. I've got three hearts. I think I'm fine. Hey, Fall Bill. How are you doing today? <laughs> More virtues. Who doesn't matter much? Yeah, true. Okay. What is the game plan here, other than die? I think I died. <laughs> well, yep, I just killed myself with that. Oh, it's fine. I've got three hearts. So I lose a heart. Big deal. Okay, it is kind of a big deal. Oh, I'm not dead yet. Perfect. Not yet. Yes, not yet. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're fucking good. We're fine. We're fine, chat. Chat, I said we're fine. Stop freaking out, chat. Everything's okay.
Yeah, that can't possibly be... Okay. Okay, now I'm probably gonna die, but whatever. We're very close to killing him. I'm yelling at us again. I yell at everybody. Only losing one heart is fine. It could be a lot worse. Say as you lose another heart, just look at them all back. Exactly. See? No problem. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Easy peasy. Ooh, a convert. Interesting. But I like the idea of drawing more dice. Because my deck is very safe. So I'm gonna go with that. Copycat plus 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 because it'll allow me to apply more waves and stuff. I'm gonna grab that. Draw two additional dice. You can only use one virtue per turn. Draw one additional die per turn. At the start of each battle, apply one decay to a random enemy. Draw one additional die per turn. At the start of each battle, apply four. I don't think I want this. I rely too much on healing. So, uh... I guess we could go with this. I've got a way. I've got pretty good ways to refresh my virtues, so I think the Codex of Burdens actually makes a lot of sense here. All right. Now we just need more safe die. I don't like any of these. As you don't need to play mandatory virtues then. I see. I'm gonna skip. Ah, I don't like any of these. Although copycat's nice, I guess. But I was hoping to get more safe dice. Nah, I'm gonna skip. Let's go to the forge. Let's see if we can buy some interesting stuff here. Nah, nothing really that interesting here. Although I might want to make this sea quake a bit more less risky. So let's try let's get something here to make that a little less risky. Deal 10 purification damage feels pretty nice. There we go. Now that dice is a little less risky. Oh, I probably could have done that, but meh. I'm going to go for the hard battle again because I... Oh, this guy's a chonker. Oh, shit. What the fuck? How do I not die? We'll be defeated in four turns. Ah, I get it. <laughs> oh, it's the risk. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. I see. This is, uh, it's that, it's the fucking Slay the Spire enemy. Okay.
I see. Well, I still die. Wait, no, I don't die. Look at that shit. We, I live, bitch. Oh, you're right. I just realized corrupting him helps me. Interesting. Oh, and he paralyzes me? Oh, great. Well then. This is kind of rough. All right, whatever. I'm going to lose some hearts here. I don't have a choice. My deck is not built for this. He realizes he is not built for this. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so I'm not gonna die this turn, at least. I'm not dying this turn, at least. Okay, if I could get through this only losing one heart, that'd be pretty good. And we did. Excellent. <laughs> we did. Okay. Excellent. Excellente. So what happens if I stack this? Oh, it's, it just presents... Okay, I see. Kablooey! Indigo Soul, baby! And he's fucking dead. Skill issue, my dude. Uh, Geyser Uppercut's actually really fucking good for this deck. Speaking of that, Geyser Upgate is really good for this deck, because I can keep cycling. Because they're always going to be an enemy with Wave. Once whenever an enemy dies, re roll That enemy receives three purification. If you have 30 dice in your dice pool, increase purification received by enemies by one. Increase purification received by enemies by one. I like the cube. The cube is good. Last time I got the cube, it was amazing, so... Although it's a bit late. I agree. That's what I was thinking. I like safe dice because it'll trigger this. I think I'll go this route. Okay, what do you got for me, bitch? Ooh. High Tide seems way too good for me to, to, to not consider it. It is exactly what this deck could use. I think I gotta go for it. High Tide is ridiculous for this deck. I just need to, you know, get lucky with it now. Destroy three non-starter die, get an epic die. What? That sounds really fucking good, excuse me. 
Oh, but I have to be non-starter dice. What would I destroy, though? Hmm. No, actually, I don't think that's worth it. Because, like, uh, all my non-starter die are good. If I could get rid of a starter dice, that would be insane. Because I'd love to get rid of this shit. This shit's doing nothing. How's the map looking? I might be able to buy some stuff in the... Yeah, the epic shop. I could get I could use the shards. So maybe I'll destroy one non starter die and get some money. Hmm, which one though? One of the riskies? High tide feels like incredible though. And sea I think Seaquake is probably the weakest one here, but I do have this on it, so it's not that risky. And like, the, 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 like it's really not that bad. So, honestly, I'm thinking this one. This 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 one has like it has surf, but it's like it's honestly kind of garbage. I've got plenty of other ways to apply wave. Okay, and then we're gonna just we're gonna destroy a dice and get rid of one of the starter cards. This one can be good to reroll some of the riskies. Let's get rid of one of the minor shields. We're gonna go over the hard battle again because I hate myself. Two hundred health with Thorn, huh? Well, I don't give a shit about Thorn when... Oh, I already got a high tide. Wow. But it absolutely does nothing right now. Oh, I should have done that first because of the... Oh, well. All right, fuck this guy. This piece of shit's gonna die. Oh boy, that's why I got rid of the mirror shield. Hope you're quick enough, I might be fucked. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to kill this guy. My deck is too slow for this. Hey, Soul Saber, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Ah, fuck, I got wrecked. Okay, maybe I didn't get wrecked. One sec. Maybe I can do this? Uh-oh. He's a scary boy now. Oh, he's a scary boy now. Uh-oh, scary. It's 
okay though. We've got the power of science on our side. He does seven damage, okay. That's my whole ass health bar, got it. But if I do this, I survive, okay. Uh, if I punch him, I die, so... Oh, wait, I, I die anyway, because I got rid of my armor. Shit. Well, if I'm going to die anyway, might as well die swinging. I might as well die swinging. All right. I might be fucked, but... That's, uh, that's life, ain't it? Oh, we're not fucked. We're fine. In fact, we win. <laughs> Easy fight. I wasn't close to dying at all. Nuh-uh. We weren't close to dying at fucking all. I like drawing an extra dice. It'll help me set up better. Because this whole, this whole deck is all about setting up better. Let's go, I want the epic shop, I think. So I think I'll go like this, 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 yeah. Not close at all. Abyssal Shatter is such a fucking meme. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want any of that shit. Uh, basically, I already have enough geyser uppercuts. These aren't that great. Okay, let's see what we can get here. We've got... I'm not running risky die, so that sucks. Punch, exactly. Then you return, all enemies receive two purification for each die in your hand. Interesting. I can shuffle once, so I'm gonna shuffle once. High tide plus plus plus. This is amazing. But what's over here first? Whenever I mean his wave is defeated, all the wave it has is passed to the enemy with the least corruption. That's also good. But it wouldn't. But the next thing is the boss. What boss is it? Uncaged anomaly. Is this a single target or is this thing summon things? Because if it summons things, this would be very good. It summons things, it has buddies, ooh, then maybe we get this. But high tide plus 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 is also very good. But this might be the play. This might be the play. Because then I can wave the buddies, and as I'm waving the buddies, it will eventually kill the main guy too. Yeah, I think, I think the relics. Thanks for, thanks for backseating. <laughs> okay. The backseating has been done. And we're going to recover a heart here. All right. Maybe we can pull a win out of our ass. All right. He has buddies. Perfect. Applies one torment to all targets. Okay. Hmm, not the greatest hand. I'm going to be honest. In fact, this hand actually sucks dick. Negates one buff. Applies one torment to self. Self reality. Apply one reality disruption. At the start of enemy's turn, Uncaged Anomaly deals one corruption to a random target X times, then increases reality disruption by one. I think I definitely want him to not have that. <laughs> Hmm. 
Great, two anomaly spawns. Can't have more than two spawns in battle. Okay. Yeah, I really want him to not have reality disruption. But he's already got it. He ramps you instead of himself? Damn, what a fucking prick. Damn, I was hoping for four so that I could, uh, I could have four corruption to get start cycling with my geyser uppercuts. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna self damage for five to get my rerolls. And then we'll reroll these. Wow, that sucked. Well, we're already off to a bad start. Man. Man. Fuck! <laughs> nah, this is bad. I gotta... Oh, shit. I think I fucked up. I didn't realize what I was doing. Shit. I didn't realize I would take that much fucking damage. I'm clearly not paying attention. It's at the end of my turn that I take the damage. Yeah, I'm already, I'm fucking done. This is over. Damn, bad, bad, bad first roll, dude. But I could still salvage this, maybe. We can still salvage this. Maybe. Nope, I can't salvage this. Well, whatever. You know what? Can I quit here and continue still? I can. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> I won't. Re I will. If I die again, I won't save scum. Okay. See, this is what I wanted last time. You see, this is what I wanted my last round to be. This is what it was supposed to be like. You safe scummed a lot. There we go. You still got to see the cool corruption, so it's okay. All right. That was the way the wave goes to that ad that dies and it doesn't propagate. Oh, no, no, no. It did propagate Soul Saber. He just blocked the buff because he had the block buff thing. So it went to him, but it got rid of the block buff instead because that's what happened last time. Also, Okay, this is a shit hand. <laughs> I'm 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, friend. You must die. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Wow, I'm getting really fucking unlucky. Like, come on! Like, these dice don't have a lot of red, and I'm just getting the red. Like, fuck off. Some bullshit. <laughs> some actual horseshit. Whatever. I still got the fucking red again! Oh my gosh, I'm the unluckiest motherfucker alive, I swear. Bro, dude. Okay, whatever. I still heal. Oh, man. That fucking hurts, dude. I might be screwed no matter what. Okay, this is a good hand, though. Okay. Let's heal up. Get that wave stacking. I think I'm dead. No, I'm not dead, but... I'm also not in a good spot in any way, shape, or form. Man, I hate this thing. This fucking cube is annoying. Fuck the cube. Cube can suck my dick. Are you serious? I need healing. <laughs> I can refresh my virtues though, which is very nice. Oh, I didn't need to heal myself because I had the AOE one. That was a misplay. Well, I'm not dead. Well, now my friend is dead though. Oh, fucking pog. Okay, one sec, chat. Fucking... This is the kind of gameplay we're looking for, chat. That's how you fucking gameplay. No, he's not dead yet. But he's getting there, you know? When the build gets broken. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> We're gaming, chat. We're fucking gaming. <laughs> oh, he healed a bit, though. Fucker. All right. Whatever. He's still close to death. Ah, oh, fuck. This is not a good look for me, actually. Okay, never mind. He's dead. <laughs> I saved scum though, so I'm a fraud. <laughs> I'm a fraud. I'm sorry, chat. I'm very fraudulent. <laughs> what was that the fifth character you got in loops? We had your was able to recast over and over ten times. 
It's always good when you can get stupid. A roguelite isn't fun unless you can get stupid. You know? All right, chat. This is the character that I, that really made me buy the game. <laughs> I just unlocked. Let's see. Apply X Vendetta to any dark target. Whenever whenever an enemy receives corruption, apply Empower to this creature. Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> nah, I'm probably not gonna try to save Scum because like the whole point of a roguelite is to not suck, you know? You deal one additional purification at the start of each battle, apply one death bomb to a random enemy. At the start of each battle, gain one vendetta and apply two hit into all enemies. What is hidden? You can't see what an enemy has hidden rolled, but you can see their die. Ah, I see. Vendetta seems pretty good. Yes, this guy. This guy. Bro, this guy's... I love this guy's design. Look at this motherfucker. Like, look at this motherfucker. Look at him. <laughs> I love... I love... I love this right here. I love this right here. Right here. This is good. I like this. This is good right here. So yeah, I'm pr I might stream this game tomorrow. We'll see. Big boy. Because it seems like you guys like this game. And I, and I like this game. So, yeah. Because I wasn't planning to stream this game tomorrow initially. But yeah, if you like what you saw, and I'm probably going to end the stream now. If you like what you saw and you like my gameplay and all that stuff, that'd be great. It's time for stream end? Yeah, Fods, you did. <laughs> yeah. I'm ending the stream now. We just unlocked this guy, and we're going to be playing as him next time. All right, two runs, two wins. With safes coming. I have to put that asterisk there, unfortunately. I, uh, I did, in fact, safe scum. So I can't claim that I am all that great. But always hard it. Thank you. <laughs> I just realized I forgot to put this back up. I had it up at the start of the stream and I didn't put it back up. Uh, but I should have put it back up because I like it when I look like this. Okay, but no, I hope you all had a fun time today. I had a fun time today. Uh, we'll probably stream this game again tomorrow. I'll see. Uh, take care, everybody. I'm going to see who's live right now to potentially raid. Ratings for nerds. <laughs> I'm sorry, Callista. I'm sorry. I'm ending now because I'm I'm the big dumb, and I have sleep. Rage. I'm sorry. I'll give you the the sad face because it's sad. <laughs> I'll be streaming this game again tomorrow, though. So, or at least I might. I don't know. We'll see. I did have a good stream. It was a great stream. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. It was a great stream. I had a great time. It was fun. I like this game. I like this game a lot. It was worth my money. I hope. Because it was kind of pricey. <laughs> Just quickly, here you go. Just for you, chat. Don't say I don't do anything for you, chat. Don't say I don't do anything for you, chat. I'm giving you what you want. What do you think? Let's make it go faster. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. Alright, that's enough of that. Alright, chat, I'm gonna go to bed. T uh, take care, everybody. Have a great night. I will see you all tomorrow, same time, as always. And uh, we're counting down the days till Super Mario Bros. Wonder. So I'm excited for that game. 
I hope Mario Wonder is good. I'd be surprised if it was bad. Take care, everybody.